I want to go back on the topic of treating people with, you know, listening to people or treating mm-hmm. people the way you say you mm-hmm. don't see just a shoulder coming mm-hmm. or or lower back pain is coming to my ah, care. That's the, that's the big one. Lower <laughs> back pain. Oh, you know, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. If you follow the physical therapy, well, we don't know. I've been treating lower back pain for 50 years. We don't know. We don't know. Mm. Yeah, of course. It's very complicated. Mm pain and one thing many people tend to forget it's highly individual mm. highly individual but my point you know? is not the lower back but the whenever you have a patient mm. coming, coming in, yeah. and then you have to remind yourself that okay this is a human being that i'm treating the person through the lower back pain mm-hmm. and taking mm-hmm. consideration mm-hmm. all this stuff you know some of the days i feel like hopefully not today with you but some some days i feel like when the podcast person, you know, the the guest is coming to my mm. podcast mm. and I feel like, oh, you know what, I just want to get this podcast done mm. and, and buy. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you more, yeah, yeah. no more than that. <laughs> I hope you don't feel this way no, today no, when okay. you came no, to my place. No, no, at all. I, no. I try to put up the best I can. Mm-hmm. Um, but how? where did you get this realization? Because you saying that to me is not, I could, uh, I took your message in your field that it's about the person, not about the shoulder pain mm-hmm. or fixing the shoulder pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way I took it for myself is like, it's not about the podcast. It's mm-hmm. about connecting with this mm-hmm. person, exactly. right? Yeah. And this is something that I, I just realized that I was like, there's no point of me having a podcast and bye-bye, superficial, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. I don't really care for the person. Mm-hmm. Where did you get this idea? When mm-hmm. did this click in your head? I bet this. I think it's it, it's probably been buried in my head for a very very long time. <clears throat> I would think, because I was, um, uh, you know, I mean, where I was from in France, the doctor I've had, uh, he saw my son, he saw my grandma who's now dead. He saw all of us. He was the family doctor, you know. He knew me from very young. He saw me. He saw me growing up and all that kind of. The same for my brother. And then it was always like, it was part of the family in one way. So I think that's that kind of relationship I have with like healthcare, if you want. Same for the dentist. Mm. You almost, you know, feel very bad when you heard that your dentist died. Well, you know, I was 10 years old. He was already 60 or about to turn 60. So what do you think? He's going to live until 100? No, because it's part of, not really part of the family, but it's it's part of your inner circle, if you want. Yeah. So I think that's where it came from for me, the whole with the healthcare relation. And then, because I had a chat with uh, some other like healthcare providers, and that's what I said. I said, you see, I think I was very lucky at some point, because, or even my osteopath that I still see in France when I go. Again, the, the doctor, dentist, all of the, and the physiotherapists as well, all these ones, they saw, well, they saw me from like, yeah, toddler all the way up, you know. Some of them, they started in a business. My doctor started in a business when I was born, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. I'm soon to be 40, he's retired now. But like his whole career, I saw just him because that's what you do. You see your own doctor. And again, that relationship. And for me, it was always this way, healthcare. I can relate to that you know? a, a little bit. Whenever I go to Bangladesh mm. and I see like my mom and dad, like this same doctor treating my grandma, treating my dad, mm-hmm. treating my mm-hmm. mom, you know, mm-hmm. if something happens and mm-hmm. other relatives and we kind of build the trust on this certain doctor. You, you just said it. Yeah, you see, what do you do when you and we build relationships? Him over, you know, you like go. for Eid and whatever. What, what do you have. do when you build relationship or oh, relationships? To care for well, those. you build the trust. Oh. How much does it cost trust? Oh, you can't even put a price on it. You know, and that's I think that's 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 what you have to do. Build a relationship, whatever it is in your life. Build a relationship for whatever with your boss, with your subordinates, with anyone, with you, with your friends. You know, you want, and in real ones, not like because I want something out of him or her. Like I said before, you want to build a relationship because then they can trust you. Mm. And again, that's there's no no value to that.